Senator McCain also has the Silver Star, the Bronze Star, the Legion of Merit, the Purple Heart, and the Distinguished Flying Cross, five of the nation's highest military honors. Donald Trump has five deferments. But he says Senator McCain is not, and then under pressure says perhaps is a war hero. Ed O'Keefe, help me here. Uh, we know the rules don't apply. Donald Trump is different. His appeal in this race is he's not a politician. He is first in some national polls, second in others. So he's high in the polls. You cannot discount him. But is there a line? And maybe has he walked up to it or crossed it here? I would think there is. But, you know, he survived the immigration thing. This now happens. I can only think that maybe grandmothers who bake pies is next. And, and maybe that's the next line that has to be crossed. I do wonder. I mean... Very quickly, just about every Republican candidate came out and denounced him, something they'd been trying to do, really wanted to do for the last few weeks. Now they had an excuse. Even the RNC got into it, but it exposed all sorts of other problems for them, which just shows you how much of a problem he is for the party. All right, and let's look, let's look, sorry to interrupt, but let's look at some of that. Jeb Bush tweeted out, enough with the slanderous attacks. Marco Rubio said America's POWs deserve better than the offensive rantings of Donald Trump. You mentioned the Republican National Committee, and at that very same event where Trump made those comments about Senator McCain, Rick Perry, the former Texas governor, was asked, does Trump questioning John McCain's heroism disqualify him as a presidential candidate? and as the commander-in-chief of this country, in one word, yes. Again, the politicians say, yes, he's at the line, he's crossed the line, it's reprehensible. And to be clear, Trump tried to back off a little bit, uh, but even this morning, he's tweeting, John McCain owes him an apology, because John McCain criticized the people who came to his rally in Phoenix last week. Well, but you heard the audience booing, right? And so that's... Uh that's going to be what really is the test of this, is does uh, his support drop? And, and I think that we will see that happen. Like, yes, the party establishment has been looking for an excuse to get rid of the clown show um, and to get Donald Trump off the stage somehow. And it's hard to do when he is first in the polls, when he's got 15 or 17 or 20 percent of the Republican base that just agrees with him on a sort of visceral level. But, but you heard that audience booing. That is an audience of hardcore sort of Christian right, Iowa conservatives, and they did not like to hear the military insulted in that way. So I would not be surprised if we see a pretty precipitous drop for Trump at this right. point. Uh, Mitt Romney, who presents himself now as an elder statesman in the party, he also tweeted out, and remember, Mitt Romney went to kiss the ring of Donald Trump in the last presidential campaign, as most of the candidates did, and yep. that was a little interesting. But Mitt Romney's tweet was the difference between John McCain and Donald Trump is that Trump shot himself down. Uh, I think interesting uh, play right there. Uh, the question is, you know, where does this go in the sense that, yes, the establishment doesn't like him, but what, uh, and it's perfectly fair if you want to criticize John McCain, if you want to question his immigration policies, you want to question his support for the Iraq war or whatever, you know, he's a senator, the public policy stuff is fine, but to question his heroism... And the other thing about, I mean, I, and I should say, just to go back to Rick Perry, Rick Perry actually served in the armed forces, so that should be noted as well. But, yeah, it, it seems like the voters are going to have to talk. The people who, who vote in, who cast their lot in polls are going to have to get this guy out of the debates, because they, they can't. They, the, and, and it's going to have to be, it's going to have to be the people who speak on this one. I mean, I'm a little skeptical about whether the people that are currently supporting Donald Trump are really going to be turned off by this. I mean, he has made, right. you know, bombastic comments before. The people that tr uh, support Donald Trump right now support him because he is not the typical candidate, right? So will, he, uh, you know, the fact that he went after McCain uh, and his time in the war, will that actually turn them off? I don't know. I think the real turning point is really about, as Ed, you said, just turning the page in how this is discussed internally within the Republican Party that we're hearing. Perry for the first time say he should not be a candidate. We have not actually heard that before. Right.